Hey there guys, we're back with Oxygen Not Included and we're picking up straight after the previous episode and um, so we had just set up this uh, massive wire to be built towards our desalination slash uh, lettuce farm project um, where we also discovered a iron volcano in the uh, saltwater area and we discovered oil down here like lots and lots of oil it's all just sitting there waiting to be taken out but it's got fossil there as well which is very nice we could convert that into lime and we've got lead which is already a predefined ore it's not really that it's not, it's not incredibly useful with the uh, construction of things because there's a low melting temperature but you know it's perfect for stuff like automation which requires uh, refined ore and, and, and batteries they don't need to, they don't need a very high melting temperature thing and we've got more oil on this side and we also have a oil reservoir which is very good and we had spotted that and I, I said I left it for uh, this episode to find out what it was so let's do that first and let's put that one on all a minor volcano all right so we have volcano up top we have a minor volcano here we have an iron volcano an oil reservoir a salt water geyser and a natural gas vent uh, geyser yes uh, but we're still short on water because the salt water you know it is very good because it is water and we can convert it into normal water but it is salt water so it requires the desalinator which uh, takes 480 power off the top of my head, which is a lot. We're still reasonably early game, you know, we haven't even reached cycle 100 yet. And yeah, um, currently we're still scouting around a bit. But to sum up the remainder of uh, last episode, uh, we had the Mulewood farm back up and running. It had to die down a little bit because the water supply was tanked. Uh, but we've got that fixed, it's running but we are running out of water as you can see the levels have lowered a lot and we have the fungal farm now being warmed so as you can see the water is actually flowing circularly through there so it will warm up the farm slowly steadily at some point it will actually be warm but currently this all the way down the back here is still minus 20 degrees it is so difficult to see but the contents of the water 8.6 degrees so it will slowly steadily warm up and we only need the farm itself to be 5 degrees and the pipes actually warmer than minus two would be very good. I think it's minus two in a bit where they uh, where they start taking damage if there's water flowing through them. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we've got that going. The gas is going, it's currently dormant, it takes another 20 cycles, but we have gas stored up, so we have power available to us, which is nice. And what's actually oh, hang on, what's actually going on here? Why is this? Hmm. Right. We could improve our automation a little bit. Might look into that later. Might. No guarantees. And let's quickly actually put up a whole bunch of storage containers because I've not just noticed that these are full already. And while we're at it, put down a bunch there as well. And we're gonna have to look into some into some oxygen supply down here uh, soon. Trademark. By soon, I do mean reasonably, reasonably short term. As the uh, as you can see, all of this is <laughs> it's so much. Oh boy, we actually have oh we have a great we have a giant massive problem. Okay, I had actually not noticed that it was this bad throughout the base as well. How much are we using? Produced 70. Oh. First things first, I had, right, I had planned to go uh, do a bit of this and then continue on, you know, get, get, get this up a bit, have that, you know, have the, have the border go around the base a bit more, and that's what I had in mind, but... This seems to be quite more pressing. Um, so your best bet is to actually breathe the farts. That is pretty bad. 
Okay, so oxygen. We're gonna do that immediately. We're leaving on pause for a while. Um, let's see. We are going in uh, emergency mode to create a SPOM, which is a self-powered oxygen module. And we don't uh, usually ha you put them outside of the base. We're gonna do that as well. We could put it inside the base, but they generate a fair amount of heat, and you know our base is. Even though the cold is reasonably annoying, it is also a bit of a savior because we don't have to worry about diseases and everything. So we're gonna uh, keep it that way. But this is a problem. So let's let's, let's make sure we get a get a spawn up and running. So we need uh, what did we need again for a spawn? We need a bunch of ventilation, right? Uh, we're gonna need a we're gonna need that, and we're gonna need oxygen. We're gonna need electrolyzers. And I do say electrolyzers, plural, because we're going to make two. That has got to go. And we can safely do this, I think. We're going to line this up, though. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's let's make it a bit more spacious. We're gonna make it. We're gonna. We're not cramped for space, so we're gonna take what we have. Uh, three there, three there. Yes. Now we're gonna put doors there and there. Actually, we're gonna put actual doors there and there, and we're gonna put doors there and there. And we're gonna need four uh, pumps. My clicking game is off today, guys. Alright, that one's I actually expected the click and drag action there to be going well. Alright. Uh, we don't need to be concerned with the heat, so we're just going to use normal tiles all around. And we're going to want the electrolyzers to be center stage, so there and there. Which means we're going to want all of it that's to be taken out. And now the thing is, these things produce both oxygen, which we can use, though it will be warm, uh, and hydrogen. And that's simply due to the formula of H2O, hydrogen, and two oxygen being oxygen breathable air. And let's not make that too big. Let's do that and that and that and that and actually put these in for airflow. Are we, uh, well, we're outside of the base, so you know it doesn't need to be perfect. We can actually remove that. And let's get into there. Yeah, so uh, we're going to need filters, right? So, vents, gas filters. Um, and we want to filter two things. We're going to put them there. We want to filter two things. We want to filter for oxygen and we want to filter for hydrogen. And the reason that we need three filters is because they can take, uh, there's a, 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 what, like a kilogram or something? 10 kilograms. Am I saying this right? Two of these take up one tile in a pipe. So we need some yes, pipes. And they need to feed that. And this one feeds that. And. Uh, these are going to immediately output the oxygen directly into the base because we don't have a cooling setup which we are going to get at some point in the future don't you worry but we don't have it so we're not going to worry about it and the whole base is like a fridge um, so let's where are we gonna want this right uh, this one is gonna go all the way to the right and actually it's all the way to the bottom as well 
Why do you ask? Well, so we can actually work down here. And let's actually get there and there. And there. That's, that's going to have to do for now. Uh, hopefully that will push out, push out carbon dioxide to, I don't know, there, so we can store it. Uh, that's actually full. We might need to put in a few carbon skimmers. And we'll have that do all the way down the bottom, though. Ooh, cancel that. Um, get that out of there. Get that out of there. Oh, hang on. Bleach stone right there. This is all abyssalite. This is a thick line of abyssalite. Oh, boy. But we're going to take it all out. I'm going to leave just the one tile, which is rock, so it doesn't drop down. Just worried about sand, really. Um, at some point, we're just going to add in a pump. I think here. We have carbon dioxide go one way, natural gas another. Chlorine? Yes, chlorine. Yet another direction. Uh, for now, this is all it's going to have to do. So let's first get that continued off. So we're going to have this one go out here and down. And we'll have it go snake underneath as well and we'll pump in a bit of oxygen along this side. And so this can go out along here and go down and there, all the way down. And in there. And there was a third one. Yeah, there we go. And we'll have it split immediately, so we don't waste a lot of time uh, on everything going down. We'll have uh, we need stuff in the base, and let's actually go up to here, and yeah. So we're going to be supplying this side of the base a bit, not too much. We want to have it go down as well. We're gonna have to line this up though. Mm, let's see. One, two, three, four, so there. One, two, three, four, there. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's a bit tight, it's a bit awkward. Can we make it two? I would make this one three and we can move this one over. Yeah, let's do that. And let's also put in tiles along this one. Uh, yeah, that actually works out. And we'll put in this one as well, just for reference. That goes, and plumbing gas goes up and in there. And two, 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 two. yes, we'll let this one go up. A bit more. <laughs> a bit awkward to do this underneath the showers, but you know, let's. Uh, actually, that's wrong. One there. And leave two, do three. Leave two, do two. Isn't it? Oh boy. My symmetry OCD kicks in. Alright, so. Oh, there we go. Okay, back to gas pipes. And we're going to end, end this here. That should that should that's gonna be it for now. So gas there and there and there and there and there. Take that out, that's all chlorine, right? So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna vent the chlorine. Have it drop down maybe as well. Uh, a ventilation gas pipe needs to go into that one and into that one. So this is quite a big project. But, you know, most of it's cheap stuff, quick stuff, 
should be done fairly quick. This one is going to go. Uh, it's going to be a bit complex, isn't it? Uh, let's save that one for a bit, and let's get this done. So we're going to get combine the outputs of this and that. Have it all go into here. And this one, this output, it should not be used a lot. Hang on, let's cancel that. Just gonna dump it there and there and there. And this is simply anything we don't want. That's it's it's gonna have to go. It it's gone. But let's be a bit smarter about this bit and then let's say gas bridge there and there this is looking complex already All right so we have this output going into there so into the input and then we have this output going there but also going into reverse there this one goes up and into there this leads us a bit of at least this thingy here and we can jump that so mm. Might be good, and we can use this for this. And this will line up here. Balls. Oh, this actually lines up there. Oh, and then this one is over. All right, so this one's a bit crooked. Um, but there's no piping on this side, so we can use that for a while. That's good. So let's do that. Gas pipe. And. Yeah, let's go up here, and up here, and let's put an output there, and an output there, and this cross, I have an output there, I have an output here, have this continue upwards. How are we doing on spacing? Yeah, that's pretty good. Where's our nature reserve? Nothing goes through here. But it doesn't say mean we can't put one there. Or there. There, 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 there. That's quite a lot. I mean, these ones are the last ones supplied. Then again, oxygen is light, so it will float up. There's a lot of ventilation. Ah, I'm hopeful. Um, and that is... This. Right, this seems like a lot. Let's, uh, let's get building. Um, one thing we still have to do is this one. And that is the hydrogen. You are such a dumb idiot. Holy shit, how do we get you down immediately? Is there oxygen here? No, there's chlorine, hydrogen... Oh, boy. Don't you die. Don't you die. Didn't I put... I'm pretty sure I lined that up. Like, stuff to be built there, because that... I did that wrong earlier. Oh no, I just had to delete. Trevall, you're an idiot. Alright, uh, cancel buildings. Actually. Alright, they are also choking. That's bad. Which is why we need that oxygen here. ASAP. Run. Good. Alright. Uh, these continue on to there. Ladder goes. That, that one goes there, there, that goes there and there, one door goes there and there, uh, this goes here, and there and there, and this goes there, ladder goes here, wrong. Ladder goes here, tiles go there. 
Yeah, that's it. And plumbing bottle opener goes there and there. Why do you ask? Well, these need to be uh, actually. I'm um, clicking wrong here. Is there one uh, up and running there? What a weed. What a weed needs um, the uh, the atmosphere. It needs to be water, salt water, or brine. Uh, so we actually have to uh, coat them in liquid. Which means that we have to have that tile up there and there. Uh, which means we need that one and that one. And take this out. And they should not kill themselves. It's also very important. Egghead. Alright. So that all of that's going. And while all of this is going on. We are going to need to power all of this, right? So, oh yes, first things first, let's get that, uh, actually, while they're building. Uh, no, actually, leave it on pause, because we're going to need to up the priority on all of this. Like, uh, construction, let's put it on construction, and we'll put the digging up as well. This needs to be up, and that needs to be up. Alright, so they can build all of this. Doesn't require any digging. We can build that, and that, and that. We'll leave those. That, and these, and we'll leave, we'll leave the other stuff. So we'll have a couple of outputs immediately available, and the, the air pressure solo, that will be usable. Um, next up, ventilation for the hydrogen. And no idea where we're going to store hydrogen. Right, we've got some carbon dioxide here, we've got natural gas here, uh, we have space here, so I am thinking here is O, here is the place to be, base gas reservoir. Um, let's leave a bit of space for walking, navigating through, so we'll leave three tiles, one to become tile, and two for headroom. Does that seem fair? Yes, it does. And let's have the doors line up. So there, 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 there. That seems alright. Seems alright to me. And let's get the plumbing immediately in. That's liquid. Plumbing. And we'll bridge it. Why not? There we go, there we go. Bridge that as well. Yeah, why not? Gas pipe, so we have the output of that, output of that, output of that. It goes in here, comes out here, goes in there, goes in there, goes in there, whatever. We'll uh, hook this up to uh, hydrogen pumps and no idea. We'll have to hook that into there somehow. We'll have to create it. We'll have to create a uh, power room eventually. Here seems like a good spot. Might as well. Is this obsidian? No, phosphorite. Uh, so yeah, so they can start building on that. Let's get this going. Actually, so 5 times 240, that's 1200. And 3 of those is like 1500. That's quite a, bit, quite a bit of power, actually. And power. Power transformer. 
And let's get two set up in here. Bunch of smart batteries in there. And heavy bolt wire to go into these. How are we doing on the research for that actually? Bad. Alright. Get that up. Why is that not a tile? Put up there. Those in there. Eh, whatever. So we can't hook them up yet, we don't have the, the, the research done. I hope the research is being done. Let's uh, make sure that actually the research gets done. Eight on that, eight on that. And the care package. Vol pups. Lovely. Doctoring, digging, decorating, night owl. Yes. Can't do building. Too bad, you're not it. We have need of building. Like, lots and lots of building. Uh, imagine a lot of building. Times that by a few times and you might get close. Uh, shine bugs, they are quite good. We have bedrooms. They would actually boost productivity all over the place. So that's tempting. Let's let's actually do that. The vault pubs, I actually don't recall what their purpose was apart from digging through stuff. Let's look it up though. I might have made a mistake there by not getting them. Vault. Shove voles. Hatch from that. Diet, regolith, iron ore, dirt excretes the exact same thing. What's their purpose? It's a unique creature that possesses two fully developed sets of lungs, allowing it to hold its breath during long periods. It spends underground drill shape creating structures circling the voles of body aids its ability to drill at high speed through most natural materials. That's the same page. Minor volcano periodically erupts with molten magma. Okay. And volcano also. Alright. <coughs> oh, yes, one thing that we need uh, plumbing. We need plumbing still. We need plumbing there, and there, and that is a bit too bad, but we're going to need to hook this into our water supply. Let's get that going across. Have that going down, get the priority to go down so we, once we take it up, we'll actually make sure that the oxygen keeps flowing. Alright, so page 7 on all of this building, everything, on all of this here, and all of that, and all of this, and a bit of that, and a bit of that, and a bit of that. That's a lot of jazz. Get that going as well, and those don't need that just yet. That as well. Uh, eight on the on the floors. So they don't kill themselves. Same there. Same there. That's a bit of a wide drag. Eight on that. Alright. That's a lot of productivity. We'll actually do this as well. There we go. Oh boy. Do we have an emergency LG setup? We can. Uh, oxygen, oxygen diffuser. Tag it. Do we have, where's our power? It's just so we uh, we can do it fast. 
there. We are definitely low on power. Uh, oxygen. Oh, okay. We should have. Yeah, like, get these going. Holy shit. Are we out of power or something? No, there's power in there. Fuck these things up, guys. You know, you need to... You need to, you need your rest. Uh, they still can breathe. Well... Sort of. Ah. ah there we go. Alright. So... This project might be a bit of an overreaction, but, you know, it's gonna... It's gonna work. And it's going to provide a bit of hydrogen as well, which is good for the power again. We'll lower the uh, priority on that at some point. Or remove them entirely if this, uh, if this oxygen module is self-sufficient. Yes, research is done. Good. Um, what are we going to need next? We're going to need that thing, a refiner. We're going to need the oil well at some point as well because we found an oil well. Yeah, ooh, water sieve. That's probably a good one as well because we're starting to accumulate a bit of polluted water. Right, so, oh, hang on, that's the one. So this emergency, uh, putting everything on nine is actually helping out a lot. So that's good. And again, this is being created at lightning speed, so that's also very good. Downside being that it's of course going... Oh, we're going to need refined ore. Mm. Where's that refiner? What have we got? We've got aluminum. Quite a, quite a large amount. I don't know what we need a lot of aluminum for. So we're going to use some of that. Aluminum... Ah, uh, 25 of that. Copper ore, we have 18 tons, so let's get another 50 out of that one. What's the problem there? Overloading. Oh no. All of this oxygen being produced suddenly is overloading the wires. Shite. Well, soon, guys. Soon, soon we'll be off of that using the power supply here. Well, one of them anyway. Duplicates have died. Yes, yes, we know. Oh yeah, I forgot to sum that up in the, at the start of the episode. Uh, Ren died. Here he is. Rip Ren. Yeah. He managed to suffocate underwater. So, drowning, really. So, it's a shame. But I'm over it. Well, we do have, you know, a spare bed again. Alright, so we've got all this. Uh, power. We have this lovely, lovely conductive wire. Which we're going to run through there. Up and over. It'll cost three extra. It's, it's, it's going to have to be that way. I prefer hiding it, keeping the stuff out of sight. not really possible with the mesh tiles, but you know, you get the idea. And conductive wire to go across. There we go. What are we using actually? Aluminum. Yeah, no, that's fine. And probably copper and iron. We're using it over out. <laughs> A seven still on everything, please. And that thing is going to need a seven as well. Let's make sure they operate on that. Continuously. How are we doing on skills? Because we are definitely in need of our mechatronics engineer. How far away are you? 1600 and a bit XP. I have no idea how long that takes. Uh, yeah, you can be better builder. We already have two ranches, so that just went up quick. Uh, let's get you on that. And you were 
gonna be an engineer as well, I think. You can have a bit of tidying for now. There you go, you get your hat with that. Uh, strength hat. You can be very good at farming. Um, oh, this one is also uh, in love with being uh, a, a, a rocketeer. Let's get, the, get him started on the research track so he can go into here. Improve construction, yes please. Improve tinkering, yep. And a bit of farming. Definitely on the critter ranching. Yeah, so we've got all of that sorted out again. Let's check the uh, schedules, that everybody is on a correct schedule. So that's good. Night Owl schedule, yep. Normal schedule too, yep. We don't have any early birds. Might be something to take into account. And the thing's still making noise, yeah. There's still crap here, so I'm just making sure that, that gets cleaned up. Put it on 8th priority to have that cleaned up. That's how we're doing on oxygen. Look at that. Those, <laughs> those five are just powering through the, the algae. How are we doing actually? Yeah, that already cost us 5 tons of algae. No matter. Oxygen is oxygen. We need to breathe. Have these got liquefiables in them? Yeah, we did do. Bummer. Get rid of that so that it cleans up to elsewhere. And actually, let's tile over that bit. Might put another toilet in here. This is far away, and I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a quick check actually. Uh, one, two, laboratories, and then medicine sink. One, two. That actually fits perfectly. Great, and this is also great. This is less great, but you know, we'll make it work. Because uh, this needs to go there. We might be able to hook it into there. Haha! -ha. Imagine me get a loop going around. That seems like an awful lot of work. Let's skip that for now. Let's go here. We can just go underneath that. Like so, hook it in. There we go. Plumbing. Bridge. Pipe. What's it on, actually? Granite. Yeah, that's fine. Or is it? No, sandstone. Yeah. Good, good, good. So let's load a pet project. We're not putting up the priority on that. And we're priority is disable the proximity thingy. So they actually start continue on that. And that was the uh, printing pod turning back on. Calories are actually still going up, which is very good. Um, creativity, don't need it. Uh, so, sorry, uh, Frankie, you're out. Meep. He is a night owl, and he is a constructor. Suit wearing and digging. Suit wearing is always good nowadays. Uh, we're starting to get to that point where we want to go out. So, so yeah. So these just got one. So no. Suit wearing is pretty good. Hmm. And digging is also good. Twinkle toes is actually good. Just a doubt though, I mean, the only useful thing that he can actually do, he's got bonuses to get there fast, I mean, you know, plus 30 run speed on that one, plus 30 run speed on that one, so he's very fast, but no strength, 
and the only useful thing he's got is excavation. So we're gonna go with food. Give us the food. Oh, that was a sip of cold coffee, that's pretty nasty. Um, right. So this is actually opened up with that. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, there's a volcano, so I'm not, how far along? Are, oh, this is the edge. Can't go further. Okay, okay. Knew that already because of this. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How are we doing on the refined ore? Oh, we're getting some stuff again. Power? What else we got? Last power transformer. Nice. Uh, but we need this. Seven on everything here. What am I hearing? Oh, is that thing turning off and on? No power. Which is this line? Which is this line? Which is power? <laughs> A. Oh boy. Uh, a, a. Get that done, uh, guys. Get that fixed. And we'll put the uh, oxygen diffusers back on seven. Maybe even six for these two. Well, I'll put them on five. They're just way down there on the list of backups. Alright, research complete again. And let's start from the. Oh, actually, let's get the suits up and running can at least start making some Atmos suits. Even though we're not using them immediately, we'll, we'll have the suits ready, we can get the air, the airlock set up. Yeah, that falls down there, it's fine. Alright. in there. It provides us a bit of oxygen. Have it go down, dug out further, give us a wider area, provide more oxygen. So it's completely gone. How long uh, next activity? 36 cycles. That's a bit far away. And that's why I was scouting around. We need more than just one gazer. Definitely the minimum of two. Here's another salt water area though. Do we have anything that can go there without disturbing that? Do we have a new fish? Yes. Are you wild and happy? Alright. I would prefer domesticated and happy. How do we get that going though? Power is out. Good. It's just it's all. Yeah, this one's pretty full, actually, of carbon dioxide. That's very nice. We'll have to get that automation in there at some point. But, you know, for now, there's a look. And let's see. Let's we'll scout about some more. Where to, though? Oh, we might find another natural gas geyser in here. That could be very nice. So, if we dig out just one. Then... They got two going this way. It'll open up everything. That will fall, that will fall. We'll cancel that. Look that out. Bugger. Uh, ladder. Go down there. Cancel that. Take that. And that. We'll have to go over and through. Um, how's this going? What's going on here? That's kind of crap. What's the problem? Oh, why is it frozen though? Yeah, because it's a bit chilly. All right, fine, fine. 
construction dates. This up and running. this, the more oxygen you'll have, guys. So uh, stop prioritizing stuff with lower priorities and uh, get on the hype train. So let's check the flows here, right? Mm, so we got that and that flowing into that and that. That's good. Very good. We need that because this is going to take out oxygen, that's going to take out oxygen, that's going to take out hydrogen. So, hydrogen goes... no, that's oxygen. That goes everywhere, down and to the right. This one goes up and spreads a little bit. And this is just a dump. So this is the dump line. It's not that big. I'm not expecting to dump a lot. And as soon as this is sucked a vacuum once, probably won't, but you know, as soon as we notice that it's done, uh, clearing out whatever, and then I'll lock the doors as well. No need to go back in. Well, we'll have to clear out all the crap, but you know, then there's no need to go back in. Is that ice? It is ice. That's a bit of a bummer. Can't have that in there. And yeah, once this water starts flowing, we'll make sure that all the pipes get repaired properly a few times as well. And then it'll warm up, and all of this will create a whole lot of heat. This will be like 50, 60 odd degrees. If it gets hotter, we'll have a problem. Because I made everything out of copper ore, gold, and oh, gold? Did I really click gold on these? Alright. Iron, iron. Oh, there we go. Unintentional side effect. Stuff will work once once there's power. Uh, 80 and 40 on those. How are they getting power? Oh, this one's already hooked up in there. Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Did forget the automation wire. So this one has to pump out oxygen. That one has to pump out oxygen. And this one has to pump out hydrogen. Well, this is going to continue at this pace. Uh, then this, yeah, it's, it's getting lower. It's in the micrograms. Carbon dioxide, 200 grams. This is all uh, nothing. They might actually vacuum suck it just like this. Alright. Alright, so this is already being powered, uh, so that means that the natural gas gauge must be on. Alrighty, alrighty. Could hook that into here as well. Not a bad idea, let's do that. And, and bridge. Leave it at low priority. They can do it whenever they pass through this area. So how's this doing on temperature? That's the edge is still minus 20, but this it is very slowly. Uh, see that's positive nine. Nine nine nine. So this water is all still warm. So this should Slowly 
very slowly warm up, especially with the uh, with the edge ones warming up. All right, what's going on? Pump not in gas. I just sucked it into a vacuum that quick. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I can live with that. What is uh, there left to be constructed? It's just fixing that pipe. Construction? No. Duties? Yes. They need to be fixed. And all that crap needs to be taken out. Uh, we can actually lock these. Lock that one. That one. Once this starts flowing, this will start warming up. What's the temperature here? Oh, it is bloody cold. It is bloody cold. Alright. Alright. Warm water coming in. Well, warmish. Still cold. Yeah, there we go. Above zero. Almost above zero. There we go. It should no longer damage. This is stuttering a bit because the capacity of sucking it all out is reasonably high. Look at that. How warm is this? How warm is it there? Zero. <laughs> How warm is it there? Well, it's oxygen. Let's uh, let's put it that way. What's going on here? Alright, this one's fine. Shit. What happened here? Oh! Yep, there, no, there we go. Alright, so that's an issue. Um, solved at present. Automation available for this? No. So we don't have a sensor in this. Okay. That would be nice to have sensor in the reservoir saying like when they're full, send a red signal. If it's a red signal, invert it. Put a not gate in between it and have the pipe divert back to the just just expel it into elsewhere. Huh. Good thought. So, crisis averted. We have a bit of oxygen still stuck up all over in here. Jeez, they're scouting quick, aren't they? What have we got here? Uh, well, we can see all of this, but there's uh, no vents or gazes in here. That's a bit, bit of a shame. Should we check every now and then with temperature view? Hydrogen up there. Um, actually, let's get that going as well. This is let's not. This is another one of those uh, rusty biomes. So let's dig through that a bit as well. And let's put this slightly higher, six, and we'll make sure that someone submits a bioscan really matter I hope I'm hoping there's good stuff in here um, yeah and about scouting let's scout this way one more yeah it's gonna be another saltwater biome I think sand seems pinkish brine ice yeah granite Hello. We are going to go here. Alright, next episode, that's going to be the focus. Going there. Shouldn't be too hard. Should be... Eh, go down straight. Da -da -da, make a giant massive basin around that. Cool steam vent is uh, one that has... You can see down the bottom right. It has steam coming out at 110 degrees. 
and to be useful for steam power it needs to be 125 uh, so the common thing to do is just to put a couple of temp shift plates behind it uh, and have it flash back from steam to uh, solid water and the beauty from this one is it is non-polluted so this is clean water coming out you know slightly warm but we can mitigate that easily enough by just having it drop down a bit using the surroundings temp shift plates and have it be fairly cold by the time it drops down into the supply where it gets sucked out supplied to the base especially to the uh, oxygen supply and then to the normal water supply as well Ooh, lovely that's gonna be great All right we're gonna do uh, that we're gonna make uh, oxygen great again it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be the best oxygen and let's see, what have we got here that's not pick up -able? No storage available. Let's quickly uh, get that in there. Look at them! <laughs> Even with the sparkle sound, I don't know how good you can hear it on, on, on YouTube. That sparkly sound is great. Where did he go? There he is. Do not lock yourself in there, mate. Alright. Uh, sweep only all, but not liquefiable, not agricultural, and not seeds. Storage is available. Finish that up, and we'll lock it up and be done. Temperature in here there. Yeah, see? This is what I meant. This is the temperature going up. That's already 40-ish degrees. That is... The pipes are 20-ish degrees. That thing is... Wow. 18-ish uh, degrees. 18... Minus 10. So it's really <laughs> surrounding the electrolyzers. At some point we might, we might just add some bit of... Oh, save game. We might add a bit of automation to this. And... Um, say if we put a couple of sensors all around the base, have that automation go all the way back down here and to here where it, where it decides if there's oxygen here, 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 at the pressure of say over one and a half kilograms per tile, uh, then turn these off. That would also save them from overheating at some point, which will take a while. And even if they do, for now, we'll just have them overheat and fix them up and be done. It's no big deal. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, uh, like, subscribe, notify yourself with the bell machine thingy thingy on YouTube. Uh, next episode we'll make sure that we start making a little bit of, uh, of the self-powered thing from this spawn. So we'll add a bit of hydrogen uh, burning in there which will supply this main power line with additional power. Uh, and we're going to go towards, where did I find it? The cool steam vent. That's going to be the primary focus. Get that water supply up. Because this is still low. I mean, it's even lower than it was at the start of this episode. We've lost another tile here. Which means that this episode alone we've used up an approximate 15,000 liters worth of clean water, really. Uh, so we, uh, we definitely need to supplement that. By definite, I mean it is very much a priority that we find I think even another one uh, because now we have the salt water down here which we aren't actually using yet we, we actually do need to start on that as well should be the easiest one you know get have this pump which we haven't hooked up to the power yet so it doesn't actually do anything for this either um, so we should fix that up and hook this up to the desalinator and have that sent back up uh, and into the water supply and this one that's, that's just the main focus so thanks for watching and do that jazz that I told you you know like subscribe whatever uh, if you like it uh, we'll be back uh, soonish with more episodes by we I mean me yeah it's just me oh what the hell Cool, we'll have a look at what 
this does as well. Clean water, nice. Thank you. And pinch of pepper seeds, also very nice. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.